Paya represents Iranian Americans who want freedom, justice, and pluralism for Iran. We're working with those from both parties who support the P5 plus one agreement. Is Paya another lobby for the Islamic Republic? The Public Affairs Alliance of Iranian Americans, PAYA for short, is the name of a lobby group in the United States, headquartered in Washington, D.C. According to the founders of PAYA, this lobbying organization was formed with the aim of defending the common interests of the entire Iranian society in the United States. PAYA also has plans to help Iranian youth to get their support and attention. Very little is known about the original founders of PAYA, but the background of some former and current members of PAYA is important to learn about. Footprints of Hassan Namazi Hassan Namazi is an investor banker and convicted Iranian-American multimillionaire. Namazi opened a political action committee called Ayapak, which eventually merged with Paya. Namazi resigned after his corruption was exposed. Ayapak is still part of the committee on Paya political action. Hassan Namazi is the son of Mohammad Namazi, an Iranian businessman and capitalist born in Washington, D.C. He was one of the main sponsors of fundraising for the Democratic Party of America. That's why President Bill Clinton appointed him as the ambassador of the United States in Argentina in 1999, although this candidacy was eventually withdrawn. In addition to supporting President Clinton, Mr. Namazi was the chief financial officer of Hillary Clinton's campaign and also donated $50,000 to President Obama's campaign. Hassan Namazi ran a Ponzi scheme. Madoff's was billions. Namazi's was $300 million. Hassan Namazi was arrested in 2009 by Bank City on charges of obtaining a loan based on incorrect information. His fraudulent amount was about $300 million. He was sentenced to 12 years and 6 months in prison for this crime. He was released from prison in 2009 and his whereabouts and status are currently unknown. Former members of Paya Firuz Naderi, Omid Memaryan, Rudabe Bakhtiar, and Vali Nas are former permanent members. In the meantime, it seems necessary to refer to the facts of the case of political tendencies about Omid Memaryan, Firuz Naderi, and Vali Nas. It's interesting to point out that Rudabe Bakhtiar resigned from Paya after realizing the hidden goals of this organization. Omid Memarian By using the Islamic Republic's lobbies and pseudo-lobbies, Mr. Memarian has worked for many mainstream media such as the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. Mr. Memarian tried to portray himself as an independent journalist, but he has repeatedly defended the positions of the Islamic Republic. In an interview with VOA, he described the Islamic Republic's addition on the State Department's foreign terrorist organization list as a costly action. آمریکا ایران در یک لیستی قرار داده که این لیست بودن در اون لیست صدمات بسیار زیاد سیاسی و اقتصادی برای ایران داشته در طی دو دهه گذشته فیروز نادری فیروز نادری formerly worked for NASA to get a better understanding of his political positions and tendencies we will suffice with a quote from himself did they support Obama's nuclear deal with Iran yes if my family is taken hostage inside my house, I will never burn down my house to get rid of the hostages. 
there are people who support such an idea, but I think they have taken away the right to call themselves Iranians with such a mindset. Here, he officially calls those who want to put pressure on the Islamic Republic non-Iranians. He makes significant remarks about Trump's policies of maximum pressure on Islamic Republic officials. Do I support Donald Trump? No. I'm a liberal Democrat. I also voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary election. Do I support the travel ban announced by Trump? No. This is not a good law for the United States. As for the infamous NIAC organization, he explicitly states that the organization has no problems. Vali Reza Nasr Sayyid Vali Reza Nasr, a former member of PAYA, was born in 1960 in Tehran and is the head of the National Security Department at the U.S. Navy Graduate School in Montreux, California. He is the son of Sayyid Hossein Nasr, a professor of Islamic studies at George Washington University in the United States. During the presidency of George W. Bush, he was the Middle East Director of the Foreign Relations Council. He has published several books, including Shia Revival, Islamic Leviathan, Democracy in Iran, and a book on Abu al-Ala Maududi and the making of Islamic revivalism. He is one of the experts in the field of Iran and the Arab world and Shia-Sunni relations. Nasr believes that the Shia will play a more important role in the future in the Middle East. Sayyid Hossein Nasr is the grandson of Sheikh Fazullah Nouri and a student of Sayyid Muhammad Hussein Tabatabai. One of the famous students of Sayyid Hossein Nasr is Ghulam Ali Haddad Adel, the father of Khamenei, the leader of the Islamic Republic's daughter-in-law. Valley is well known as an expert on the Middle East and Islamic politics in the United States. But Nasr also has tendencies to support the Islamic Republic. For example, he was in the public meeting with Ali Akbar Salehi, the former foreign minister of the Islamic Republic. In this meeting, and by supporting Salehi, he announced his opposition to the sanctions against the Islamic Republic. Dr. Vali Nas! In 2012, Paya organized an appreciation meeting for Vali Nas. The hosts of this program were Rudabe Bakhtiar and Maz Jobrani, who is a member of the infamous Nayak organization. Members of Paya. Paya, like its counterpart Nayak, has supporters and sympathizers in the media and some other organizations who are not officially related to Paya but have consistently supported its policies in favor of the Islamic Republic. In this section, we will review the three official members of this organization Murad Qurban, Ali Rahnama, and Jalal Farzane. Murad Qurban is one of the main members of Paya. He started his work with Namazi. After the forced resignation of Namazi, he took over the main responsibility of this foundation. He has a close relationship with Jason Rezaian and is a supporter of Gesunia, who is supported by Nayak. Murad said in a meeting focused on the sanctions of the Islamic Republic, 73% of Iranians living in the United States agree with the reopening of the interests section of the United States in Tehran. He added, two-thirds of Iranians oppose U.S.-led regime change in Iran. In international forums, he tried to claim that the pressure of sanctions hurts the people more than the mullahs of the Islamic regime in Iran. Murad Gorban has a very close relationship with the American Democrats. 
It is no coincidence that all the regime's lobbies are trying to bring themselves closer to the core of power in the United States through the Democrats. They are trying to trade and make a profit. In the picture below, you can see Murad Orban next to Nancy Pelosi. Ali Rahnama Ali Rahnama graduated from Sharif University with a degree in physics. He then received his PhD in law from George Washington University in the United States. He is one of the main members of PAYA and the lawyer of this organization. According to a Persian Twitter user account, he shows up at the clubhouse, claims he is against the regime in Iran, and even gives people legal advice. He has repeatedly defended the Islamic Republic. Rahnama also has a close relationship with Nayak on a program hosted by the BBC in a similar position to members of the NIAC, he called the US police aggressive and harsh during the Antifa disturbances and blamed police actions against George Floyd as failing to define the law of conduct. For him, the protection of human rights is defined only in tweeting to Nasrin Sotoudeh. He retweeted the protest against Trump's travel ban laws, which barred those who were affiliated with the Islamic Republic from entering the United States. Also, in an interview with Iran International on the issue of JCPOA, he said that Zarif was right and Iran can be released from its obligations. He retweeted an interview with President Trump on the NBC account calling the then U.S. President the Mad King. The PIA organization also has other members who contribute to advancing the goals and influence in different political groups to attract financial resources. These include Jalal Farzane, a wealthy Iranian businessman and official member of PIA, and Nazi Eftekhari, another member of this organization. Jalal Farzane and his brother Mohammed donated $4 million to the Oklahoma State University, Iran and Persian Gulf Research Group, which is just one of his donations in these fields. This appears to be only a cultural project. However, what really lies in these seemingly neutral gestures is lobbying and influencing to achieve predetermined policies. Another member of the group is Nazi Eftekhari, a supporter of Obama and his policies of appeasement with the Islamic Republic, who is also a close friend of Nancy Pelosi. Nazi Eftekhari is the cousin of Yasmin Etemad Amini, the wife of Prince Reza Pahlavi. Positions and performance of the PAYA During Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's presidency, PAYA conducted a poll among Iranian Americans and stated that most Iranians want to establish an American interest office in Tehran. As usual, the BBC Persian covered the news. According to this poll, more than half of Iranians are dissatisfied with the behavior of the U.S. airport police. Of course, one of these dissatisfactions with the police is related to preventing Mohsen Dehnavi, the former security force of Basij. At the same time, former president of the Islamic Republic, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, called for the reopening of the United States Advocacy Office in Iran, while implicitly endorsing the Paya poll. This poll also covered the news feed of many local and state media outlets, including Irna. Paya's position on the United States policy toward the Islamic Republic are almost the same as Nayak's policy of diplomacy first, or in other words, appeasement with the Mullah's regime in Iran.
like Nayak, Paya does not hesitate to apply war propaganda to justify appeasement policy with the Islamic Republic regime. Although Paya shows a less aggressive and hostile position towards the Iranian opposition and the opposition of the Islamic Republic compared to Nayak. Paya publishes an annual poll that is sometimes the public opinion of Iranian Americans. The results of these polls, which have many problems in terms of statistical science, like the poll of the University of Maryland, appear to be in favor of the Islamic Republic's propaganda and directional statistics. In 2019, Paya held a conference called the Civil Participation Forum. Speakers and guests at the conference included Vali Nasr, Ali Vaez, Anas Kamani, Sima Lajavardian, Narges Bajroli, Jason Rezaian, and Mahiar Sarwar, an aide to Ilhan Omar, an Islamist and far left member of the United States Congress. Ali Vaez and Vali Nasr two staunch advocates of appeasement with the Islamic Republic and an instigator of the Revolutionary Guard's crimes are full-fledged speakers at regular meetings and conferences of Paya. Paya relations with other groups. In an interview with Hossein Dehbashi, Husheng Amir Ahmadi introduced Paya as the second version of Nayak, which is known as the notorious organization that lobbies for the Islamic Republic. In a joint project of Paya and Nayak, both these organizations supported Sima Lajavardia, who is a close person to the American Democrats, to run for the United States Congress as a representative. Sima Lajavardian is a Texas progressive or far-left politician. Sima's father, Mohammed Lajavardian, was a member of the board of directors of Nayak when Trita Parsi was its director. In 2020, Sima Lajavardian was the running mate of Dan Crenshaw, a Republican in the United States House of Representatives and a staunch opponent of the Islamic Republic. She lost the election and did not run for parliament. In fact, many of Nayak's nominees for various political positions are also endorsed by Paya. In addition to Sima Lajavardian, Paya has also supported the candidacies of Anas Kamani, Ramin Fatehi, Zahra Sheikh al Islam, and Yasmin Ansari, who have been approved by Nayak too. Many of these candidates are from far left and want a policy of appeasement with the Islamic Republic in Iran. In another move, Paya along with Nayak set up the Iranian American Bar Association. This will give these organizations access to Iranian clients and their legal problems so that they can take advantage of them when necessary. For example, attracting financial assistance from people who have legal problems in Iran. In another move, Paya along with several other groups called on the US government to provide COVID vaccine for Iranians. However, this vaccine was banned by the Islamic Republic's supreme leader, Ali Khamenei, and this move was just the news shows off. Paya has also run several programs with Nayak. The notoriety caused by Nayak's numerous supporters of the Islamic Republic, to the extent that Persian Twitter users and even celebrities have called them mullah lobbyists is enough to invalidate any foundation and its individuals who have connection with this notorious organization. Finally, Paya has officially congratulated Aryan Tabatabai, a supporter of appeasement with the regime of the Islamic Republic, on her appointment as senior advisor to the Biden's State Department.